Last month, each of us built these magnificent deer stands. And it is now time to see once and for all whose is better. Will it be Tyler's incredibly sketchy but more natural looking stand? Or will my fortress on stilts come out on top? We've got a week's worth of hunting ahead of us to find out. Are we gonna succeed? Or will we burn down the entire cabin in the process? Find out this and so much more on this episode of Hunting with the Boys. I woke up bright and early, ready for my adventure. Hunting time! I then packed up everything I would need for the journey ahead. After I had arrived at the cabin, it wasn't long before everyone else showed up. Oh, well, well. Welcome to the fuck zone. Oh, we're fuck zoning? You hit something? Uh, a couple things, actually. You see all the roadkill on the way here? Yeah, that was me. Who the fuck's this guy? You know who he is? Oh, right here. Right here. Park it. That's where I want it. Park it. <laughs> I want the Subaru logo in my throat. <laughs> Get out of the car! These clothes bushes are ripe for the picking. They're almost ripe. Yeah, almost? Yeah, yeah. they're, they're oh, that of, one's a little pink. Most yeah. of them are at a small right now. You want to wait for them to mature up to a medium. Yeah, you need like an extra, extra, extra. Medium? Yeah. We then had to venture out into the wilderness to spread some deer, corn, and salt. I guess you could say that all of these deer are very corny. <laughs> Tyler, I said open the gate, not destroy it. What? What the fuck, he man? <laughs> uh, I think there's a murderer up ahead. Yeah, that's a murderer. I got candy. Yeah, you want my candy? It's right here, boy. If I can see guns. Oh, it's daylight. So the sun's. <laughs> This is where I imagine they'll be. This is how you hold my beer. Deep throat it. Yep. Now lean back. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Kevin's an alcoholic. <laughs> Ooh. Work it. Hey. A booty, Joe, did you see that? Joey's uncle was up here hunting a few days before us, so we decided to check his very, very sketchy deer stand to see if he had gotten one. No, it's not sideways, see? <laughs> oh, I wouldn't do that while you're standing on it. <laughs> There's a Kevin nearby. Don't eat the crackers. Ah, they got one. It says that they got a six point this year. Fuck off. So it's 2023, six point. This could be a good sign, or it could mean that they're all already dead. Yeah, they must have been so distracted by murdering deer that they didn't eat them. The six point, it's fresh, it's like unopened. But with daylight quickly fading, we must get back to the task at hand. <laughs> oh yeah, she's sturdy. Oh. Hang on, hang on, here, moving. right here, that's a crucial part. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, sturdy. She ain't moving. Once back at the cabin, I was ready to relax and do absolutely nothing. I'm hanging a TV. Where you want it? Right up there? Yeah, that works. Murder man with a TV. <laughs> that blocks the bathroom. Right, yeah, right here. Let's go get in. Yeah. <laughs> no, you could just... <laughs> I can see now we know the first person to move it has to take a shit. It's gonna be me. <laughs> Guide me, daddy. Oh, you're there. It's working great. I'm gonna burn through all of my fuel, but that doesn't matter. It's glorious. It'll all be. Oh no! Oh fuck! <laughs> 
<laughs> it sucked in an ember in the uh, bank. Ember, like right there. <laughs> it just lit up. Yeah, that's just crap, Tyler. Jesus Christ. After Tyler almost burned down the cabin for the first time this trip, we were finally able to sit back and relax with our new TV. Twelve seconds later. <laughs> oh god, you can see Cousin's head in the video. <laughs> that is definitely the back of the girl. She's so talented. Don't mind us. It may have been the alcohol, but all of a sudden we felt compelled to go wander in the woods with only gas lanterns. Can't see shit out here. I don't think these gas lanterns are catching on. <laughs> that slipper looks a lot better. <laughs> Made a big difference. Who goes there? Oh god, I can't see it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's why they asked. <laughs> Who goes there? Oh, the Is this part of the experience? We could be executed for being here. What? What did you talk? <laughs> stone tablet, dwarven, I think. I think it's moss. It's just no, regular rock. It's just a regular rock with moss on it. Who hired this guy? Never use Groupon. <laughs> what was that? Did you hear that? Back there. Well, it's probably about time to go back. I woke up bright and early the next day to check on the cats. Today's gonna be our first day of hunting, and I came extra prepared this time. I'm ready. You look ready. Now, well, now that the hunting videos, well, our, the hunting trips are videos, <laughs> I can use company funds to uh, get some better gear. Got me a new rifle. <sighs> Bushmaster. I didn't anticipate on being 50 degrees out here, though. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of warm. Can you see me? Yeah. Wait, turn? Okay, yeah, no, it's just a bush with a gun sticking out. All right, I'm going to my deer stand. Are you going to yours? Good luck on speed. Um, yeah, I'll totally be in my deer stand, the one I built here. I even got my deer piss. Where'd Kevin go? See me coming. Very warm in this, but I'm very hidden. I'm to head out. We then headed to the deer stands full of optimism. It's gonna be the one, Kevin. And our optimism grew even more when we noticed fresh deer tracks on the way to the stands. That's deer print right there. They're here. I was beginning to think that Tyler was going down for sure, most likely by falling to his death from his sketchy ass deer stand. Oh, I forgot how terrifying this is once you're actually sat down. But going down nonetheless. Once I reached my deer stand, Kevin wished me good luck, and I headed on up to wait and wait and stare at some birds. And then disaster struck. It's raining, and all my camera stuff is outside of the cabin. A freak rainstorm blew in, so I was forced to leave my deer stand and go put all the camera gear back inside. Oh, cool. So the deer get lucky tonight. Welcome back to the fuck zone. Did you get one? Dinner time. Wow, thanks, Kevin. <laughs> That's what spaghetti said. What the fuck, Kevin? After enjoying some quality spaghetti, we spent the rest of the night watching TV, roasting marshmallows, and sucking each other's dick. First, I must take a piss. Now I am ready to kill. It was beautiful out this morning. Not too cold, not too hot, not a cloud in the sky. The only thing that could make it better would be seeing more birds. Oh boy, do I love to watch birds. The only thing I like more than watching birds is watching squirrels. Oh boy, do I love fucking squirrels. Meanwhile, been up here a couple hours. There ain't jack shit here, so this chair made the uh, made the deer stand a lot more comfortable. I guess I'll just uh, head back and have breakfast. I too decided to head back after three hours of only seeing birds and squirrels, but thankfully on the way back I saw signs of what could possibly be a bird serial killer. We can only hope that their numbers start to dwindle. I don't think you're gonna get anything from there. <laughs> I didn't think it's true. Yeah. No. <laughs> Ah. Wait, Doge, hold still. Yeah! Good teamwork, Doge. Ooh, that was metal as fuck, bro. Doing a wheelie. How many deer you see? Big final. You hear While anything? I was out there, stuff started growing on me. What the fuck? <laughs> ah. 
Hurry up and catch something. After a bit of fishing and sitting and doing nothing, it wasn't long before it was time to go murder again. Or bird watch. Most likely bird watch. Here I go killing again. We'll kill every single one of them. While enjoying my delicious pop tart, I spotted something about 15,000 kilometers out, give or take. Beautiful shot. I would have taken it if it wasn't for the fact it would have made the entire trip really awkward. So instead, I just let it pass. Meanwhile. You know, one thing I didn't count on when Brian built this is that the sun would set right in my fucking face. Meanwhile, still squirrels, it's all squirrels. It's all fucking squirrels. Just squirrels. Only squirrels here. You look like a cyclops. Deer fucking suck. Is that beer? No, no it's a soda. Is that two beers? It's soda. After that great defeat, it's time to hook up the projector. Yep, 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 yep. Can't see anything. Can't Nothing. see or hear anything. Except for squirrels, all fucking squirrels. After a long day of hunting, we were all ready to sit down and enjoy a delicious meal in front of a nice movie. Is the cabin burning down? This looks very concerning out here. You know the food's good when the house is smoking. He looks like he's having a lot of fun in there. Oh yeah, he already wants to kill himself. <laughs> and thankfully, our sponsor, Blue Eddy, has us covered with their incredible solar generators. With 5,000 watts of power delivery and up to 10,000 watt power surge, this bad boy will have no problem powering everything we need for our outdoor cinema, including a 15-foot inflatable projector screen, a 500-watt speaker, and a 4K projector. <laughs> I left the sticky up It's so loud! Don't mind us. And just as I finished up setting up our outdoor cinema, Tyler was finishing up making our food. Tyler just goes and outdoes everybody. I made enchiladas. <laughs> Joey's gonna make hamburger helper. <laughs> bread? I like bacon. How do you even I make like bread? Uh, what is this, chili? A lot of flour. It's a Skyrim? You can't have soup and not be in a bread bowl. Oh Kettle boy, soup. that's good soup. You're a clean cook. That's for yeah, sure. no, it actually attracts the good. I had make the most and I also make the most mess. Oh my God. With over 3,000 watt hours of capacity, we could theoretically be out here all night as long as the storm doesn't blow us away. Hold the line! Wind! I heard something tear! To be honest, this thing didn't even break a sweat doing this. Kevin was even able to run a heater off of it so that he could watch the movie in absolute comfort. Beer. Oh my God, it's so warm in here. Jeez, <laughs> this is the perfect view. But even if we did somehow get low on battery, it's got six ways of charging itself with regular AC power, solar, car, generator, lead acid batteries. I'm pretty sure you could probably hook up a hamster wheel to this thing and charge it with how versatile it is. And it's not gonna take long to charge either. You can get up to an 80% charge with just 45 minutes of charge time. It's even got an app to let you monitor everything super easily. With winter already upon us, now is the perfect time to get a battery back up before we experience more of those rolling blackouts. And with the AC500 plus 300S, you can basically power your entire house. So now, even if a freak snowstorm takes out all your power, you'll still be able to weld two pieces of metal together and cut things with a table saw and, a, and another stall and run a massive fan at the same time for some weird reason. I plugged everything into it that I possibly could in my shop and it didn't get anywhere near the maximum power output. So you know that's a good sign. If you work construction this thing would be a game changer. You wouldn't have to deal with this stupid generator and gas. Plus when it's cold outside generators are they never want to start. Piece of shit. But with a battery backup you, you don't gotta worry about that. It's already started. There's there's no starting. Plus, my gas power generator couldn't even power a, a fucking handsaw. Oh, this thing sucks. Really? You can't power this? With this thing, you don't gotta worry about that. It could, it could power 40 of them. Probably, I don't know. My point is, there's really nothing this thing can't handle. With two 12 volt DC ports, one 24 volt DC port, four 100 volt USB C ports, four USB A ports, three 20 amp plugs, two 30 amp plugs, and one 50 amp plug, plus two wireless chargers. What more could you possibly need? Not to mention, you could stack a bunch of these batteries, so theoretically, you could pretty much never run out of power. And with the Blue Eddy solar panels, you could run this thing all day long outside. Even on a day like today when there's a a shit ton of fog it was still getting some power plus these solar panels are just super portable and convenient they fold out into this massive array of solar panels that are capable of supplying up to 420 watts of power plus the stand lets you easily adjust it perfectly to align with the sun it's just a, it's a great product all around so if you want to pick yourself up one of uh, the links are going to be in the description below and be sure to use my promo code odsac 500 to get five percent off of your order thanks again blue eddie for supporting this channel and giving us the ability to enjoy our movie outside and until the, the storm blew, blew it away.
Oh, fuck. Ah! It's pushing my whole chair over. Oh my god, wind! It's the one! The screen! It's one thing this battery pack cannot do. It cannot stop wind. Oh yeah, I see rain. Projector! Look at the fucking hurricane. Jeez. Louise. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my god. Go to the wonderful lands of Bass Pro. The Holy Land. The Holy Land. Oh yeah. I can't wait to live here one day. Inside, we found many things. Oh my God. It's not that much, really, if you think about it. Study guns. I can't tell if he looks determined or confused. That's determination. This one rocks and it has the shade. <laughs> But most importantly, we found devices capable of wiping out the entire squirrel and bird population. So of course, I, I, I purchased one. Oh, that was close. That last one. Right there. These squirrels won't know what hit them, but we're not here to kill squirrels. This is our last night to hunt, and unfortunately yesterday was also the last day of rifle season. So for this hunt, we're gonna have to switch to the crossbows. The crossbow proved to be quite effective on our last trip. I'm leaving! We're busting out the crossbows. Eerily simmer. Eerily... It's eerily... I was only in my stand for about 20 minutes, just admiring squirrels, when I received this text from Joey. We got one. Just got correspondence from Joey. It's like he got one, so. Climb down this shit, and I don't have a crossbow decocker. So that'll be fun. Joey said he's climbing down off the stand, so let's meet him halfway. There's the man, the myth, the legend. They just walked straight oh. to it. I literally had my blog for the fucking audible going. I was looking the complete opposite direction, just like you. Same. And then all of a sudden, I looked at my left, and I'm like, that's a deer. And then I looked to the right of them and there was three more. Now all that we have to do is track the deer down. This should be easy, right? Right? Reese's Deer Recovery Service, I hear that my services are in need. Who here got a deer? We need to recover it. Fuck, <laughs> I don't know where it is. So yeah. I don't know if this can get Call me back when you know. Leave this here until we find it. Something's here. So he ran like straight toward that ravine and just a little further than what Tyler's was, but not much. No. At least not hit. They just got hit. That's right, right. Tyler's made it about over there. This one might not be much farther. Yeah. Yeah, it's not much further at all. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, you can literally see it destroyed here. Smack the tree. Blood on these leaves here and here. We used our expert skills to track the blood trail. Blood? Over there? Which went way further than any of us had expected. I didn't expect it to run this far. But we started to notice them getting more frequent oh, yeah, and is. larger, which means we oh, must yeah. be close. But at this point, we had already tracked this thing onto somebody else's land, and eventually we came to a clearing where the trail went cold. But then, Tyler picked up the trail again. Wait, Tyler saw blood? So the hunt was back on. These damn Mexicans, you know? Very resourceful. How have I missed you? At this point, our spirits were not very high. Blood, blood. Yeah, lots of blood. Just fucking die. I'm about to die. We've now been tracking this thing for well over an hour, and we're beginning to lose daylight. Man, right here the drone would be useful. So they definitely jumped that fence, probably. We eventually came to a massive field where it was pretty clear that the deer had jumped the fence. How far could it have possibly gone through? <laughs> this type of terrain will be much harder to spot any blood, but we didn't let that stop us. Just a little bit of trespassing? We kept searching for hours and hours. I think you'd be dead. Yeah. How much blood can you lose? I'm assuming you walked the other side of the pasture too. Like, did you walk through it? Or... I'm assuming you it seems like you went just straight. Eventually, we ran completely out of daylight. <laughs> Imagine covering this kind of ground after an arrow just went through. 
Eventually, Tyler was somehow able to spot a tiny speck of blood. I don't even see it. How the fuck do you see this? Tyler. Are you autistic? How'd you see that? <laughs> Rain Man or something? But at this point, it was becoming pretty clear that we were not finding this deer tonight. Yeah. Oh, we don't need light. Phone lights. And my phone's almost dead. And to top it all off, I decided to make it a little more interesting by losing damn one of our cameras in this gigantic field. God damn. Ugh. I was gonna shine, but no. I can't for the life of me remember when I last fucking touched it. I have to find it tomorrow. It has all the footage, a lot of it. We then decided just to cut our losses tonight and find it in the morning. Hey, it says no trespassing. Probably shouldn't be over there. And hopefully also find the deer. It is cold enough outside that the meat won't go bad overnight. We then woke up bright and early the next morning with a plan. Field. Uh-huh. Find phone. Uh-huh. Possibly deer. Suck each other off. Yes. It, that's in there it, somewhere. In, it's in, implied. In, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. I just want to make sure I was reading between the right lines. This is a game plan. You study up. Field. Find phone. Possibly deer. I forgot to put that on there. You're not wearing the Crocs this time. I could do one boot, one Croc. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somewhere out here. We were even able to take the drone up this time to hopefully be able to see the deer from the sky. But all I could really see was field. Just a lot of grass. No deer. Talk about a literal needle in a haystack. But then a miracle happened. Woo! Uh, it was right at the entrance. It's still a lot. It had 1% charge. All right, don't need this anymore. <laughs> I then went back and got my four-wheeler so I could pack my things up to head home. All in all, this was one of our more memorable hunting trips. They're not always as productive as our last one. In fact, most of the time, it's basically torture. But that's what keeps it exciting. It keeps us coming back for more. But we're not done yet. We've got plans to improve our deer stands and come back the next year to hopefully redeem ourselves. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We sure enjoyed filming it. Not so much the editing part that's fucking sucked ass so uh, please like the video or don't i guess you don't have to uh, goodbye once again i'd like to thank the sponsor of this video blue eddy for giving us one of their solar generators and supporting our channel not only did this thing provide us with our best movie experience of our lives but it's also just super handy to have around and charge our phones with wirelessly or charge up any of the camera gear and if you're looking for some form of backup power i can't recommend one of these enough to be able to deliver 5,000 watts of power anywhere without any noise or, or dealing with gas generators it truly feels like the future not to mention if you've ever tried to start a gas generator in the cold it, it can be a little annoying but with the blue eddy you, you don't gotta worry about that anymore it's ready to go whenever you are it can even heat its own batteries so that it's able to charge in negative four degree weather and they're also just built very well with an aluminum internal frame and abs plastic cladding along with dust covers for every port they're, they're definitely built to last so if any of this sounds intriguing to you then maybe consider picking one up for yourself the links will be down below in the description and be sure to use my discount code odsac500 to get five percent off of your order